This tutorial is going to go over how to color and stylize 3D shapes in the shape nets in the program Fab Lab Model Maker. To begin with, load the standard tool collection if it's not already loaded. Looking at the screen, I can tell the standard tool collection is not loaded, so I'm going to come to the very top of the screen and choose Tools, Standard, and you'll notice now that a whole bunch of additional tools and additional shapes appear on the screen. In order to color a 3D shape in a shape net, you first must have those shapes created. So I'm going to create a simple cuboid here. Once you have your 3D shape and its corresponding shape net created, the task of color, coloring and stylizing is really relatively simple. The first thing you want to do is come to the bottom left and click on the Show Palette button. It resembles four colored squares. When you open the Show Palette button, you will see a color palette that automatically appears. There are two different ways to color and stylize objects. The first way is to first select the 3D object. Once the 3D object is selected, and I can tell it's selected because I see all of these boxes, come over to the palette and click on a color. I'm going to click on this burnt yellow color. You'll notice that the entire 3D shape and its shape net were colored that burnt yellow color. The second way to color and stylize is to deselect the 3D shape and to deselect the 3D shape, if you click anywhere outside of the shape, we'll deselect it. And notice the boxes disappear. And then come over to the color palette and click and hold on a color. I'm going to click and hold on red and drag it to the corresponding side. That will color just one side. You can use the rotate view tool up at the very top of the screen to click and hold and rotate to see different sides. So now I'm going to add a light blue color to the front side of this shape. Apart from just colors, there are a number of preloaded textures that are within Fab Lab Model Maker. If you click on the second color swatch that says Show Texture Palette, you'll see a number of different textures that can be added to the 3D shape. Once again, the process is the same. You can click and hold and drag and drop to a side to apply that texture. You can also select the 3D shape and then choose one of the textures to st stylize the entire shape with that texture. By default, what appears first when you click on the Show Texture Palette is the Arrows collection. So I can scroll down and see all of these different textures that have arrows. There's a drop-down list right here that shows different collections of textures. So I could click on Flowers, and a whole bunch of flowers appear. All of these flowers work just like the other colors and textures. In addition, one final way to stylize shapes is to add your own custom images. These could be images that were downloaded from the internet. They could be Im images that you've taken with a digital camera. Once you have a folder or a digital image on your desktop computer, you can add it to the library by coming to the button that's to the right of the drop-down list once you're in the Show Texture palette. Clicking on the little arrow will bring up a window that says Add Folder or Add Images. If you wanted to add a collection of images that were in a folder, you would choose Add Folder. If you want to add a single image, you could choose Add Image. And that's how you stylize and color objects in Fab Lab Model Maker. 